So I recorded this video three months ago, but never got to upload it due to YouTube problems. So here it is. Welcome back. This is a makeup tutorial. So I just posted a video on my half wig look, and now I'm gonna show you all how I did my face. So in this video, I'm going to be featuring the new modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the first permanent palette that they will have. Um, I think I paid $42 for this. So the previous palette, the self-made, um, I have that one. That one was 38, so they raised the prices on this one. It was worth it because it's 14 in here. It was 14 in the other one also, but like these colors are so springish, summery-ish. And this color right here is like, th these two colors are my favorite because you can do so much with those two colors. It's ridiculous. If you wanna see how I did my hair, you can go on the previous video and look at the whole thing and look at other videos if you like. Okay, let's get started. So I prime my face with my professional. I always use this primer because it's the best. And I'm using my Kat Von D foundation. Uh, I got this from Sephora. And this is in the shade Deep Six. So I just spread the foundation out with my fingers because it's kind of thick. And then I just dab it around my face and fill it in with the makeup wedge. These are cheaper to use for me. I use these on my clients and myself because these aren't that much. You get like six of these for $3 at Walgreens or CVS. And this is my LA Pro Concealer. And I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes. This is where I really focus on because I really don't have a big forehead, so I don't really highlight my forehead or my chin. I mainly do under my eyes. And then I take this concealer, Creamy Beige, and I put it on top of the concealer I just used. I don't know the name of the first one I used because the label ripped off. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in the description box when I find the name. And I use two different colors because I want a nice blend. And I use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. And I set my highlight for under my eyes. And the Kat Von D foundation is pretty thick, so I still put setting powder on my forehead just so my forehead won't crease, but I don't put any concealer. I just put setting powder, and now I'm going to wipe away my setting powder off my highlight. So I use the same eyeshadow base like I do in all my other videos, but this time I'm going to put setting powder on top of it so my eyes won't crease because I have very oily skin and it tends to crease. So I did one eye already just to save time. So I'm going to go into my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to go into the shade Love Letter. I'm gonna take a Love Letter and I'm gonna put it on my crease right above my lid just a little bit because it's very, very, very pigmented. I'm going to take my Milk Pencil by NYX that I got from Ulta, put it on my lid, and my finger really wasn't getting it for me, so I used a brush by e.l.f. and I spread it all out. So I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and go into Raw Sienna and put that on top of the milk just to take out the white and go into Golden Ochre just to get like a shimmer on my lid. And I'm gonna take a pink glitter that I had pressed with glycerin, water, and a quarter and put that on my lid. And I'm gonna take my favorite lashes in the world, the Eyelore number 126 with my Duo glue adhesive and put that on top of my lashes. 
These are the only lashes I use because I love them so much. They look so sophisticated, but don't look like I'm about to fly away if I blink. And then I'm going to go into Venetian Red and darken my crease. And I'm going to take my milk crayon and put it on my lower lash line because anytime you put white crayon or a eyeliner, make sure makeup pop and it brings more attention to your eyes. And then I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes to make it more dramatic. I'm not going to do a winged liner. I'm just going to line my eye so it can look bolder. I'm really going for a dramatic eye with this makeup look that I'm doing. And then I'm taking my Milani blush in Red Vino. Um, this is like my favorite blush. It really complements my face. And then I'm gonna take this highlighter I got from my Ipsy bag. It's called DJS uh, something, I don't know. But it's a really nice highlight. It broke on me a few times, but I really like it. Just trying something new. But I want my highlight to be on beam, so I'm going in my Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator, and I'm putting it on top of that other highlight I just put on. And this lip liner is called Prune by NYX. And I also got this from Ulta. And I'm lining my lips. And then I'm not rubbing it on all the way. I'm just trying to make it blended. And then I'm going to put on my Lumiere 2 liquid matte lipstick that I got from ColourPop. And I'm going to like make an ombre lip. I blend it in with my finger and then I'm done with the look. Please subscribe, share it, like it, subscribe and hit the thumbs up please.